At East Gamers, this is Game Sergeant Scurry, and welcome to another unboxing of a third party controller. I haven't done these, it's been a while since I've done one of these because it's been a while since I bought a third party controller. The last one I got was that, uh, that P, uh, Power A, um, Pro Controller, or no, not Pro Controller, but a, uh, Joy Con grip for the Nintendo Switch. Well, this time it is another, uh, Power A controller. Um, Power A, those are my those are my boys. <laughs> they always they always come through for me with the third party controllers. They always make the the I don't know to me um, they're the best of you know making long lasting uh, third party controllers. Well built. Um, I don't know. Every time I get a PDB P controller, they always feel I don't know light in comparison to. Um, Power A. They always make the the miniature controllers too. I, um, for the Xbox 360, Wii U, and Xbox One, I always every controller is like real small. But anyway, I'm not exact. I think this is just a normal sized one, but we'll see anyway. So before we uh, unbox this, oh, I got this at uh, Walmart. I think you can get these in Target and uh, Best Buy probably. I do know that. Um, well, this one's Zelda themed, but there was a Mario themed one that had uh, changeable uh, analog stick sizes. Um, I think that was the only thing that was changeable on them. Um, I didn't really care about that because I, I think the normal size would be fine. Uh, the downside to this is it does not have motion controls and it is uh, wired. So um, if you, you know, like motion controls in Splatoon, you're out of luck with this controller, and there's no, you, you know, it's not wireless, so, you know, you can't use it, um, like in, uh, tabletop mode or something. So, let's just take a good look, uh, the design is kind of cool, I like that the D-pad, I, oh, I also hope the D-pad on this controller is a little better than the, uh, standard Pro Controller's D-pad. The, the Pro Controller's D-pad is real good. It's just, it's, it doesn't, there's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of glitchiness. Uh, I wouldn't say glitchiness, just, I don't know, something, something's a little bit off with the D-pad where sometimes, you know, I'll push left and right on the D-pad, but it'll register up or down instead. Um, just a, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if that's with every D-pad or every, uh, Pro controller, but even my uh, custom colorware Pro controller, I think, has that problem too. Um, oh, um, improvement on my last video of an unboxing. My address is not <laughs> on full display anymore, but oh well. Um, that video was made private for a reason. But anyway, let's just take a good look all around the box. So we got a uh, nice design. I like, like I said, I like the color of that. I hope that the um, it looks like that the trigger buttons will be kind of similar, but we'll we'll get there when we get there. Uh, we got the Nintendo Seal Power A, Legend of Zelda. Um, that's the side back. Uh, oh, it's got uh, so the grips are rubber, so that's good. Um, I guess protect them uh, against sweatiness. So, time to uh, pull out. Whoops! I hit the microphone. I'm trying to pull out a thing of scissors so I can jab into this uh, camera, which I'm not going to do. Um, but anyway, let's uh, oh, not cut anything other than this little piece of sticker here. Little piece of sticker right here. And a piece of sticker right here. And I believe that's it. I think I missed this side, just to be sure. I mean, I know I rubbed it, you know, put the knife up to it, but I don't think it actually cut it. Like, I didn't put it hard enough. But anyway, I think I got it now, so let me try and pry this thing open. Uh, how do I get it? Maybe I'll need to... Use the knife to pry the thing open. I got it. I think. I think I got it. 
Now I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Cool. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna. Oh. Oh well. <laughs> um. Normally I wouldn't care, but I I keep all my um I keep the empty boxes on display. It's actually like literally right up top above my uh, screen display. I might even show show a picture of it at the end of this video. But I have like every piece of equipment I've ever I've ever bought, like ever since I started this YouTube channel, is like up there somewhere. Uh, but okay, I like how <gasps> what what they told. It said it was a wired controller. So, it's a wireless controller. Okay. Um, I'm a little disappointed that it's uh, micro USB, not USB-C. That's kind of a letdown. Okay, so it is a wireless controller. False advertising, uh, Power A. You get, you get points down for that. I don't know, but the, the, hopefully the controller feels really nice so you can get those points back. Okay, let's pull you out. I think that's all there is to it. I'm assuming no HD rumble. Whoa, hold up. Hold up. This D-pad looks nothing like this D-pad here. I mean, it's got the same color, but the texture it looks kind of rough. Oh! That's interesting. So it's a glossy uh, D-pad, but um, it's you know it has a glittery look to it, but it's it actually feels glossy. Interesting. Um, I was hoping it would have that concave feel to it because I like that on the other on my Xbox 360 Power A Pro controller. Okay, so let's let's just uh, we'll, we'll we'll get rid of this. Just throw it away. This is a long core, by the way. This this looks like it's this looks like it's gonna be like six feet long. I don't even know. I'm my switch is right there. Like I'm 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 almost touching it. Um, but I think I'm I think I like the way this feels. It does feel light. It doesn't feel it feels a lot lighter than Power A's other third-party controllers. It feels like there's no um, HD rumble in here. Actually, if this has normal rumble, I'd be okay with that because sometimes I do like the uh, the more heavy, shaky rumble. So if it has normal rumble, I'll be okay. Uh, so let's see, the buttons are obviously a lot smaller. They're well, they're like normal size face buttons, not like the you know standard Pro controller, which uh, I don't really see as a downside since the Joy Cons are a lot smaller than that. So. Um, I mean, as long as they're bigger than the Joy-Cons buttons, that's fine with me. The sticks feel a little slippery, like the the centers of them, um, if I had better lighting. I have a light over there and a light in the corner there, like very far away. That's about all the light we get though. But anyway, if I can pull it up pretty close, maybe you can get a, yeah. The, the, the places where you put the thumb, like it's really slick or smooth, a little too smooth here to where I feel like, well, maybe if, I, I guess, mm, when I when I apply enough pressure, they stay on. And, and these uh, rings around keep my thumb from falling off, but it, it does feel kind of slippery at first. Now, the triggers, um, the normal triggers, they feel, okay, I like that they're not clicky. These feel a little more clicky, but they're they're spongy, which I like that. I like the the you know spongy buttons instead of clicky buttons, uh, like the Joy Cons, for example, or like you know 3DS buttons. The D-pad, okay, I like the D-pad rolls. That's that's a plus. Um, it feels like it'll be okay. We'll have to wait until I put it into practice, because I'll give it a, a full review uh, after. I've, you know, played enough games with it. Um, okay, so I like that all of these buttons are spongy instead of clicky. Um, I was about to say, plus and minus buttons are a little... Well, minus is... Well, I mean, it's not that easy to reach the minus button on the regular foot controller either. Uh, the click is fine. I like the feel of the controller. Um, the, the regular foot controller feels... 
like fantastic, but it does feel a little bulky. So if you're looking for something a little smaller, but still feels really good, I'm liking this. Um, so I guess what's left, there's really not much going on in the back. You really, uh, you know, my phone just rang. The, um, actually the, the top, you know, the top shell does feel more, it feels kind of, you know, soft in comparison to the plasticky bottom. So that's good. Oh, and I like that it's matte and not glossy. So yeah, I think that's it for this unboxing. Um, I mean, this is a, I'm still, I'm still disappointed. This is a, uh, um, a micro USB, um, charge cord, but I mean, I can use it for my phone. So that's good. Um, but come on, come on, power a, you could have made it a, uh, USB C, but um, I think yep, that's it for this video. Just want to show you the power a uh, Let me get this out of the way because you can barely see it from <laughs> power a um, Wire pro controller. That's another thing Power a this is not wired. This is wireless power a I mean unless I need to plug it in for it to actually work It's wireless also Where's the, where's the light indicator that tells you what player you are? Mm, I don't like the, I don't, I don't like where this is going. So do I have to have this plugged in for it to work? I don't know. We'll see. Um, well, you'll see my review about it later on. And if that's the case, that might have to be a point deduction too, but that's that's for another video i'll talk about it when i do this review thank you guys for watching this video if you like what you see and you'd like to see more you know controller reviews like this in the future um give let me know uh like if there's a controller that you like a third party controller that you like or that you don't like and you would like me to uh, re uh you know purchase and review it uh, let me know that in the comments as well so yeah thank you guys for watching take care uh, and carry on.